Good afternoon, community of Boxburg. Uh, my name is Vanessa Naidu Pele, and I'm the director of Boxburg Child Welfare. And I'm standing outside our Keep Me Safe house which um, was once operational as a temporary safe care house which housed children who were neglected, abandoned and abused. Um, currently the house is closed and I'm going to explain to you in a few minutes why. I just want to get to this house um, and how it was established. The house was established in July 2005. It was open to house children who were neglected and abused and uh, basically what happened was we had a house mother to take care of six children who were placed in um, her care through the court and the statutory system. Uh, at that time it was temporary safe care so the children were allowed to reside in her care for six months pending the investigation of social workers. Thereafter they were either placed in a more temporary uh, care or they were rehabilitated and reunified with their biological parents or family. Currently, the Keep Me Safe House is closed due to financial um, problems that were faced. We did not have enough funding in the year 2016 and unfortunately we had to close the house in August. Coming to the current situation right now, we feel that the Keep Me Safe House needs to be opened because there are so many children that are abused, orphaned and abandoned and there is no place for them to go to. Um, as Boxburg Child Welfare, we actually see about 35 or more children who are orphaned and abandoned. Now, there are government facilities, but they are all full and they have criteria which the children cannot, um, cannot be processed through. So, we need the Keep Me Safe House to be opened and we've, we, as Boxburg Child Welfare, have established a new way of planning and running the house. We want the house not only to run as a temporary safe care house but we want the house to be run as more of a permanency placement for the children who are orphaned and abandoned. We want to provide the children with a family life, secure, security, protection, skills and everything else that a normal child living in a nuclear family would be afforded with. So we are appealing to, Box, to the Boxburg community, to the local businesses, to everyone out there, including the NPOs, to come together and help us to enable us to re-establish the Keep Me Safe House. The house, uh, Keep Me Safe House was closed due to financial issues. We did not have enough funding to uh, maintain the house and to keep it open. As you know, it does cost a lot of money. There's bills incurred in uh, operating this home. We need clothing for children. Children need to be transported to schools. And we did not have enough funding at the time, so we had to close the house. And this was just something temporarily. Unfortunately, it's been years now that we've been making appeal to everyone to come together to open the house and it hasn't come together but right now standing here looking at the statistics there's over 274 children that are orphaned in, since 2018 and those figures are escalating unanimously. We cannot rely upon government. We have to come together as a community of Boxburg. We have to fundraise. We're looking at local, um, local businesses to also come together to open this uh, home. Remember, local businesses also benefit from this home being open because most of the people that work in Boxburg stay in Boxburg. So it's, it's community upliftment for local businesses as well. Um, in the past, in 2005, we had the NPOs, we had uh, the community members and local businesses who assisted us to open this home. So we are calling uh, on them again for their assistance and support. Welcome to our Keep Me Safe house. As you can see, this is the kitchen of the house where the house mother used to cook and prepare all the meals for the children. They also brought a uh, Skills. The house mother will prepare them and teach them how to make their own meals. As we go through, this is the bathroom that the children occupy. Um, it's where the, the children would bath and ensure they hygiene. The house mother used a different bathroom from them. This is the dining room where the kids would sit and eat. Like I said, we keep a maximum of six children placed under the house mother's care. As we move forward, we are going into the lounging area where the kids would relax after school, come and watch TV. Some renovation also needs to be done here should the house be opened. And as we go along, 
this is the house mother's uh, bedroom and bathroom is in here. Like I said, she uses a separate be a bathroom and bedroom from the children. This is the boys' room. Um, we've taken the bunks apart, but we still have them. And um, this room houses three boys, a maximum of three boys. Going through to the girls' room. This is the girls' room, and um, it also houses a maximum of three girls. It's very spacious, they have their own cupboard space, and there's privacy away from the boys as well.